Russia has done a goal. It's not based around this. But the level I draw the web isn't exactly right. I support what I ever expected it to be and where it should be in the whole web. But a little heavier on the bottom, a little wider towards the bottom of the web, and up. And then draw another one right next to it. But not the full web, just one that's kind of overlapped by the middle. Do the same on the other side. And then repeat a little bit lower, starting again from the middle. So I'll pop up the center for now. Still have it. the same thing to the right. And what we're always working off of the middle. So we start off a little bit lower like this. And then we draw them to the right and then draw them to the left. Now at this point, you're going to want to have gone about as wide as you're going to go after about three rows of stuff. And start getting narrower and narrower you're down to one of these higher places of finish that you're just going to neglect. So let's keep going. Now just like I used the green pen, and these are all pretty narrow, I do a special hole in the rim. Small hole in the rim. Insert a bit more small hole. And the same thing. Put that a little bit more full. Back in. And grapes are all different sizes. Don't worry if they're not the same size as this. So that what I was talking about, the five of them. So we're almost at the web. We are taking the sides, work off by the middle. And eventually you want to be down to about three grapes. You see that right there, right? Then you can kind of work one big grape down as you go like this. Two little ones to that side. And then all you need is your vine. The stem from the grapevine. I'm not sure grapevine can breathe up. Grape leaf, quite sure. But maybe it can. So make a little circle on the top for the next one. If we never had enough to leave, we make our long S shape, then end off with the point at the end. And then connect that with a big curve to the back. Back in, line down the middle. Now here's some fun. We're going to shade every one of these grapes. And as usual, the light will be coming from this direction. So we'll be shading the left side of every single grape. grapes at the bottom and the left can even be completely colored in. They will be completely separate from the rest of the grape. And of course you'll have to be more detailed with the larger grapes, the ones that you see along the line. But that's good for the anatomy. Like I said before, you want to have more detail in the area that you have the uh, audience looking in at. Notice I'm not working from the center here. The outlines have already been made. Now, if you want, at a lot of time, you could use the same pattern you used on the hot dog. Just colored these in completely and just left little shiny parts instead of being dotted. to say there's no wrong way to do this, but I have a feeling next time somebody will be up to it. <laughs> uh, I'd rather you try to do it that way. Let's do a little bit of detail here on one of them. Let's start from the left. Imagine I'm drawing a tree. Right away on the stem, just like we did at the beginning, we make a line. And then start again the last, once I've drawn it from the right side. Down to 
for good and evil. I <laughs> I don't believe uh, I'm capable of creating evil and stepping out with the punch of fate. In fact, I'm like Seth. Not nearly like the uh, fate that you are playing. trying to do it from sitting behind the camera. Normally I would be leaning into the camera and there's a 